Hello, today I'd like to introduce two of Unger's deionization systems, the DI400 and the DI800. The differences between the two, the DI400 uh, holds 25 liters of mixed bed resin and will filter 4,000 liters of water. The DI800 holds 50 liters of mixed bed resin and will filter 8,000 liters of water. This water being at 180 ppm. What happens is the water comes through and the filter takes out all of the calcium and salts in the water, allowing for streak-free window cleaning experience. When your deionization machine is shipped, it comes with a pre-filter key and your user manual. So, now to begin, we're going to connect your tap water hose to the system. You're going to slowly turn on and let your pre-filter fill up. As the water comes out, it's going to show you this pressure gauge, which tells you how much pressure uh, is coming into the system. The water is then going to flow through this water flow meter, which tells you how many liters you're using. It's going to travel up here and into the resin, the mixed bed resin filter. After the water is purified, the pure water is going to come out and flow through this hose to your outlet. Here, I'm going to attach the outlet hose, turn on the valve, and the water flows to your water fed pole. At the top of your system is the TDS meter. The way this works is you turn it on. Here is your input button. When you press that, it tells you the PPM of the water going into the system. If you press out, that shows you what's coming out, and that should always be at zero. Changing the pre-filter. As you can see through this clear, transparent case, the free filter is dirty. So to change this, we need to first let all of the pressure out of the system. As you can see right now, there's five bar in the system. So the first thing you're going to do is turn both of the valves off, disconnect both of the hoses. And as you can see, we have just over three bar in the system. To get that out of the system, you're going to take your bucket as a precaution and open up both valves again. Now the pressure is out of the system, and as you can see on our pressure gauge, there's zero bar. Then we're going to turn both of the valves off. Harzwechsel. Sollte das TDS-Meter mehr als 20 ppm anzeigen, ist die Patrone erschöpft. Changing the resin. If your TDS meter over 20 ppm, then that means that you need to change the flat bed resin. Hierzu schließen wir die Hähne und sehen zu, dass das System drucklos wird. So, to start off, you're going to close the valves and remove the hoses, and then you're going to release the pressure from the system. Make sure both valves are open. Nehmen wir oben die Schläuche ab. Take both of the hoses from the input and output. Und lösen die Schellen der Tanks. And release the strap along the tank. Und schrauben den Kopf ab. Unscrew the top. Vorsichtig. Entnehmen die Lanze. 
Be careful and take out the middle pole. So, jetzt kann das Harz aus der Flasche in den Tank gekippt werden. Now we're going to empty the water out of the tank into a bucket. Das ganze Harz läuft auch mit in den Tank. And try to get as much resin out of the tank as you can. Nachdem das ganze Harz aus der Flasche entleert wurde, ist es sinnvoll die Flasche mit Wasser zu spülen, um das ganze Harz rauszubekommen. Now that all the flatbed resin is out, or most of it, we're going to use a hose, spray inside and get the rest of it out so that it's completely clean. Harzbefüllung. Hier zu nehmen Sie sich von Unger äh, unsere 25 Liter Säcke Mischbettharz für das DI 400, für das DI 800 nehmen Sie davon zwei. Now we're going to change the resin. Doing this, you can get your Unger 25 liter bag of mixed bed resin. And for the DI 800, you can switch with just two bags. Nehmen Sie den Unger Trichter oder einen anderen handelsüblichen Trichter und füllen Sie das Harz hier ein. So you're going to take a funnel and empty the resin into the funnel and fill it up. Nachdem der 25 Liter Sack in die Flasche gefüllt wurde, ist die Lanze wieder einzusetzen und hierzu kann man sich den Wasserschlauch zu Hilfe nehmen. After you've changed out the 25 liters of resin, you're going to stick your pole back in the middle and attach a water hose to the top. And as the water goes through, slowly push down so that it goes to the bottom. Wasser ausschalten. Turn the water off. Zusehen, dass das Gewinde sauber ist. Make sure that the thread on the inside of the tank is completely clean. Kopf auf die Lanze setzen und aufschrauben. Put the cap on top of the pole and screw the cap back on top. Handfest reicht. Closing it tight with your hand works. Jetzt können wir die Flasche wieder auf die Karre setzen. Zwei Pfeile auf dem Kopf zeigen die Richtung, wie die Schläuche angeschlossen ist. Pfeil hier, Eingangsseite, Pfeil raus, Ausgangsseite. So now you're going to set the tank back on your system. On the top of the cap you can see two arrows that lets you know which direction. The arrow on this side is pointing in that direction. That's your input. And the arrow on the other side is pointing in that direction. That would be your output. Als letztes mit den Schellen das Gerät wieder auf den Tank befestigen. Make sure your hose are screwed tight back on. And the last step is to put the straps across the tank and tighten them with your butterfly. Nachdem der Tank auf dem Gerät fixiert ist, lässt sich der Kopf noch mal fest zerziehen. After the tank is firmly on your system, you can tighten the cap a little bit more to make sure that it's sealed and straight.